This video is grainy as f Please enjoy. Welcome everyone. Another issue of the Daily Keck. This episode is actually something I, we haven't done before. Got the tie and everything. I'm wearing jeans though. It is. We got a good show here for you today. What we're going to be talking about is... I actually don't know yet. So uh, you'll find out. And uh, let's go! Oh, there's an update for Destiny. It was an update about the Cryptarch. Now when you get f***ing drops and you get like, say you get a rare engram, you won't get uncommon engrams from it, you'll get rare or higher. And if you get legendary, you won't get f***ing normal items, you'll get legendary or exotic ones. You f***ing happy? And uh, they uh, they, they, they took out the, the loot cave on Earth, I'm pretty sure there's more, but they're, they're, it's gone. It's gone. Go f*** yourself. That was a new Steam update. It's pretty old, you probably heard about it, but it's uh, changed the whole homepage, old store, all that good stuff. It looks pretty blue, actually. More blue and black than it used to be. Uh, there's Steam Curators, which is pretty much like stuff about reviews from trusted people, like PC Gamer and my ass. Also, there's an Explorer Discovery section. I don't know what the hell that is. Basically, Brink, Brink just keeps fucking popping up in my recommended games, and I, I don't like that at all. At all. So this game has been taking the whole community by surprise. More, what is it fucking called? Shadow of Mordor? What's it? Lord of the Rings Shadow of Mordor? What is it? What is it? Middle, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is, uh, came out uh, this past week. Uh, this last Tuesday. Uh, was that the, 20, the 29th? I think it was the 20th. No, the 20th. 29th, yeah, the 29th of October, no, 29th of September, <laughs> and uh, apparently it's pretty good, it, uh, it's like a mix of uh, Batman, Assassin's Creed, open world, it's good, and let's hear a word from Brian, he'll tell you more about it. It's good. Thanks, Brian. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks. Oh, oh, that's right, there was a uh, another TF2 update, It's not. it wasn't nothing that has to do with the f***ing server crash vote kick system f that no they added new crates which means they added new keys and that means there's new fucking hats and misks in the game who fucking cares the fourth annual sax just came out it was uh it's the fourth year of the community making videos about any pretty much any source game that usually includes tf2 which is pretty popular or uh, it could be portal sometimes left for dead uh this year as always usually broken down the four categories Shorts, action, comedy, and drama. Each have uh, four nominees each, maybe four or five. And uh, yeah, they're pretty good. The uh, action ones, uh, I actually like the action ones the most. Wrench in the Gears, that was pretty good. Robbery Rush, Man Swap, Julie Escapade, Jewel, Julie Escapade, Jewel. Anyway, uh, they were pretty good. Uh, apparently, an overall winner was picked. It was entitled Animation versus Animator. It's pretty funny. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I just really love Saxies every year because it just shows how involved and how devoted the community is to the games that they love to play. You don't see Call of Duty fans doing that, do you? No. 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 Go watch them. They're pretty good. At www.sourcefilmmaker.com slash Awards 2014 slash question mark. Yeah. Now, from the clowny stupidness of TF2 into the serious MLG fucking I'll fucking wreck you, mate. CS:GO Operation Breakout is now over. Uh, it's been uh, in 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 I don't know how long it's been operative operated it did for, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's over. That means uh, you can't play the maps anymore. I, I don't think. And you can't get mission drops. And... Yeah. It's over. Just wait for the next fucking operation. Bitch. Hey, remember how last week... Not last week, but you know, two weeks ago... I was, uh, bitching about there's no new ad job class for Elsword? Guess fucking what? There's a new one! Yeah! So stop bitching and go play it! Hyrule Warriors also came out. A hack and slash looks like Dynasty Wars because it's made by the same people, you know. Apparently, you just play as Link. 
You beat the shit out of people. You f Princess Zelda in the ass. And uh, you get the, you get the uh, Epona makes an appearance for the first game's DLC. Oh my god. Go ride that horse, play that Epona song on the Ocarina, and have yourself a ball. So, since everyone here in the CAD crew, me, Brian, Sheepley, Big Breach, and uh, Puppy have played the Super Smash Bros. 3DS demo, it's been pretty good, it's been pretty addicting, and uh, yeah, it's, it's so good that uh, I didn't order it myself, but Ben has, and uh, he's probably going to get it sometime soon, but uh... World of Warcraft also got undelete character options, so that leaves me asking, why the f don't they make a hide character option for f***ing <laughs> sake, Blizzard, I didn't write this, Ben did. Apparently the quote-unquote game on PlayStation 3, PlayStation Home, is going down in March. Oh boy, mark your calendar, folks, it's going down! But also I heard that no one else cares about that f***ing game, so who cares? There's a Pokemon trading card game on the iPad, apparently? Uh, Ben wanted me to talk about that. We tried to play Pokemon for a KP, that, 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 that didn't work. We, no one knows how to play a f***ing card game. Ending it.